Good day, folks. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to do multi-track editing in LumaFusion. I'm going to show you some tips on how to sync multiple video files and even some audio files. So let's get started here. So if you're new to LumaFusion, new to editing, you should probably heard the term B-roll footage. B-roll footage can mean many different things, uh, but typically it's just video that you kind of edit in to give your video a more dynamic look, keep it interesting. Sometimes B-roll footage is filmed on your primary camera and just edited in, but other times it's filmed on a secondary camera. You might even have a C-roll. Some people label their cameras A, B, and C. Now quite often, for the most part, when you're editing in B-roll footage, you don't really have to sync it. You know, you're just going to kind of throw it in somewhere into your timeline and it usually blends in well. But there are certain situations where B-roll footage has to align perfectly. For example, when I do a demonstration here, I'm gonna be using a Rubik's Cube. So if I have two cameras set up and I'm filming myself solving a Rubik's Cube, and I'm gonna be switching back and forth between my A camera and my B camera, I want things to line up because I don't wanna be at a certain stage and then go to the B-roll and then I'm kind of back four steps. Maybe you're filming a time-lapse of yourself doing a puzzle or building a Lego set or doing some knitting. There's those times where you need your A footage and your B footage to line up perfectly. And the technique I'm going to show you here works for syncing audio as well. So I'm going to grab some quick sample footage here that we can work with and then we'll get into the editing part. I'm going to be using the camera I'm filming this with now as my main track and I'm going to be using my Hero 7 Black to capture some B-roll footage. So let's get that going and then we will throw it into our editor. Okay so we've got our scene set up here. I've got my GoPro over here and uh, we're going to start recording on it in a minute. And Like I said that's going to be my B-roll camera. And I'm just going to play around with the Rubik's Cube just for sake of this video. Now in order for us to sync up audio and video, we're going to need some kind of marker. In Hollywood Productions, you're probably familiar with a clapboard. And it kind of works in the same manner as what we're going to do here. Clapboards are used for multiple purposes. And uh, one of their purposes is it makes an audio mark that can be used to sync up audio and video. But since most of us do not own clapboards, and it would be kind of ridiculous to drag along with us on different locations when we're shooting, uh, a simple way to achieve the same effect is just clapping your hands. I'm already recording on my main camera. I'm going to start recording on the Hero, and uh, I'm going to make an audio reference right now. And I'm just going to start uh, messing around. I'm not even going to pretend that I know what I'm actually doing here. Okay, that's enough of that. So let's now import this footage into LumaFusion and we will sync it up and start some editing. Okay, I've gone ahead and transferred the footage from both A and B cameras to my iPad. So now we're going to launch LumaFusion and bring them into the editor and sync things up. So we will go ahead and launch LumaFusion and we're going to create a new track. So once we're in LumaFusion, we're going to create a new project. And this is where we're going to edit our footage. Now on the left hand side here you can see I have two clips. Those are the two clips we're going to be using. One from the main camera and one from the B camera. So this gray area here, that's our main editing timeline in LumaFusion. So what we're going to do is drag the main footage down to that timeline there. And you can see there I am playing with the Rubik's Cube. And as I fast forward, you see this big spike here? That is where we clapped. You can uh, hear that. And it's made a big waveform in the audio track. So we're going to use that waveform to sync and line up the tracks. Now, once we drag our B-roll footage down, it's going to be on top of our A camera footage. And uh, we're not going to see anything from our A camera. That is until we start cutting some parts out. So we will get to that in a minute. When it comes to cutting, the way your main track and your B-roll and C-roll track acts is a little bit different. Under normal circumstances, if I cut a section out, say I put a slice there and a slice here and I cut it out, it's going to slide all the footage from here down. Now the B-roll footage is going to be a little different. If we cut a section out, it's going to stay as a blank spot and that allows the A-roll footage to play through. And that's important because... As we're cutting out the B-roll footage, we don't want the tracks to slide over because then the audio is going to get out of sync. So anyways, let's just go ahead and drag our B-roll footage down. And as you can see, as soon as I dropped it over, it now took place of the A-roll footage and it's over top of everything. But what we have to do now is find the waveforms. As you can see in the A camera, there it is there. And in the B camera, there it is there. That's where we clapped. And you can see here, I do it again. So now, just to make things easier to work with, I'm going to cut this section of the video out. I'll put it just before the waveform on the top track there. And uh, it's very important when you go to cut, make sure that it's only the top one selected. 
If you don't have anything selected or if you accidentally have the bottom one selected, it'll either cut both or cut the wrong track. So make sure we have the top one selected. I'm going to hit cut. Now I'm just going to highlight that footage there and delete it because we don't really need that. So what we need to do is line up the waveforms. And uh, it's a good idea at this point, you can actually zoom right in and uh, use that uh, guideline there as a marker. And that there kind of now helps you line up. So now, just like that, our two tracks are completely synced and in line, both video and audio. Now, if you had a third device, you would do the exact same thing, you know, because it would have that marker in it as well. So you would drag it to this top track up here and just make sure everything's aligned. Now, if it was an audio recorder you were doing, you would follow the same steps, except you would drag it down below. These three tracks down here in this dark area, that's where your audio tracks would go. So you would just drag it down and line up the waveforms. Now, of course, we don't want all this silly footage in there of clapping and all that. So what we can do now is drag our timeline and it's everything's gonna remain in sync until we get to the point where we wanna start the video. So you can see I start playing with the Rubik's Cube right about there. So now at this point, we wanna cut both tracks. So unlike before where we had both tracks highlighted, we wanna make sure nothing is highlighted now because now when we press cut, it's gonna cut both tracks at the exact same spot. And we can go ahead and delete this track here. And you'll notice that it deleted both tracks. I'll show you why. We'll have to go back to the beginning. See this little marker here? That means this track is linked to that track. So if we delete this track, it's gonna delete any track that it's linked to. So now we have exactly where we want to start, and like I said, the tracks are completely synced. So now at this point, we gotta start cutting some stuff out of the top. We want the bottom track to be our primary track. So I'm gonna go into about here. Now at this point, again, we just wanna make sure the top is cut, so we're gonna make sure it's highlighted only. We hit cut, and we're gonna remove that first section. So now you're gonna see I've got the main camera, and then at this point, it's now gonna switch back to the B-roll. And it is in perfect sync. So we might have a little bit of footage from there playing about like that and then we're going to put another cut again make sure just the top track is highlighted and now we're going to make another cut so we can delete a section so always make sure that top track is highlighted so now if we go through there comes our b-roll footage it switches over until it's done and then it goes back and then it'll come back here and then go back to it. And we can just continue this process until we're happy with it. Now it's very important not to drag that top track around. As soon as you do that, your audio is gonna be out of sync and the video is gonna be out of sync. Now just for an example here, say we come up to an area and we've made a mistake, you know, there's something we have to cut out of there. We can still do that without messing up our syncing. So say there's a section right here that I wanna cut out. What I'm gonna do is make sure I don't have either track selected and that way it will put a slice through both tracks, just like that. And then we go to where we want to cut out the end of it. And again, we cut again. So now, as you can see here, maybe I'll move it here so you can see it better. We have this section. And like I said, and this is where it comes in really handy because this bottom section and the top section are linked. So if I highlight that bottom section and delete it, you can see it moved everything over. So now we've just removed that piece we don't want on both tracks it's moved the tracks over so they're still in sync. So that's a good technique to get out any mistakes you've made from both tracks without messing up the syncing. Now when you're done, you may not want to use the audio from the cameras because, you know, it's kind of boring. You might want to add a soundtrack. Uh, what we can do here is we go to our sounds and what we're going to do is we're going to mute both those video tracks and then we can close that. So I just went to some audio here and we can now drag it down. Now if we play it, now if we play it back, it's only going to play this audio track. So you can see how easy it is to import some B-roll footage and have everything sync up. Now sometimes it's not a bad idea to make some audio markers throughout your video. You know, things get out of line or messed up. You've got some other cues you can go by. You'll just have to cut them out throughout the video while you're editing. Well folks, that's basically it for my video. I have some other LumaFusion tutorials that I am working on that I hope to have up in the next uh, maybe week to two weeks. So keep an eye out for them. 
Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found this video useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos, and we'll see you in the next one.